Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Harika. So uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how we can get the robots from the classic folder. So as I talk about it, uh, it's the most easiest uh, API call which we've done till now. But you have to consider a few things before you actually perform this API call because the API request and the headers that you have to provide are quite simple and straightforward. But in order to get the robots that are that are associated with this particular uh, folder you should have to make sure some things uh, in your orchestrator that if you're doing them right so the first thing is you should create a robot of the type either of these things okay so you can only get the robots and you can perform the api calls on them only if your robot is of type unattended non-production or development robot apart from that if you have any robots like testing or attended or any of those types then you cannot uh, you cannot actually do this api calls which is uh, you know getting the robots from that particular classic folder so that will uh, deny your request okay so that's the first and the foremost thing that you have to consider it should be either of these types so if it's an attended you cannot do that particular uh, call and after that you have to make sure that the license allocation is available on this robot so what i meant by license allocation just go to the docs that you have here so if you see there's a note that's mentioned here right you cannot start a job in unattended or non-production or testing or development mode unless you have the run times okay so you have run times available that means you should have the license available on that particular um robot okay so you have to make sure that that uh, that particular license is uh, consumable only then you can run that particular job so that's it um, these are the two main prerequisites and let me go to my orchestrator and show you a little bit so if you see i have my robot which is a uh, machine classic so you can just create a robot on yourself and you can just uh, you know connect that to your machine so one thing i'll just give you some clarity over here so you all know how to create a machine how to create an environment and everything right so if you see i don't have my machines here so i can just go to the modern folder and if you see here uh, this is my robot that I have for uh, my classic folder. Okay, so okay, let me take it by uh, step by step. Okay, so you should have a robot in classic folder. So what are the things that you should create for having a robot? You should have an environment. You should have a machine um, that is available and connected right so how can you do this if you are not sure how you can do that i have a separate video for that on my channel i'll provide you the link in the description as well but if you wanted to go over on my channel and check out that video um you can just find it let me get that for you you can let me search So this is the video that I was talking about how to create a machine and robot in UiPath Orchestrator and how to connect the studio to Orchestrator. So this will give you a complete understanding of how you can do this. I'll provide this link in the description. You can check it out there. But on a high level, you should have these prerequisites um, deployed or you know or created in your Orchestrator. Only then you can perform this API call successfully. Okay, so i have this machine right so this particular machine um where i have created so i am what i did i just manage the manage the machine so i have connected this to my um other robot as well okay so once after that's done i can see this particular robot is available okay so it's a, it is isn't available and also you can see the license type is unattended so make sure that the license type is the uh, uh, you know uh, the one which is applicable and also it should be available and it should be active only then you can proceed with the next steps so once after that's done what i'm going to do i'm i should get my robot which is machine classic okay so machine classic i should get in my api calls so for that what I'm going to do, I should provide an API call. So how we can do this part? This part is quite simple. 
So just make sure that you have all these prerequisites. And now I'm going to copy this particular endpoint into my Postman. Just go to the Postman. So I should get my robots, right? So this should be specific to your orchestrator tenant. Just go over here and then just take this part. So once after that's done, so from which folder you should get this. So for that we have orchestrator organization unit ID. So just uh, just like how we are doing for other API calls, just providing. So what is the organization unit ID that sh I should have? Because I wanted to get it from the classic folder, right? So this is my ID that is corresponding to my classic folder. So if you're if if this is something that you missed in the videos, uh, please watch the previous videos. Complete playlist link I'll provide in the description or you can just check out on my channel for the playlist Orchestrator API Postman. So that will give you this. And after that, we should authorize, right? We already have a barrier token which we have generated in the previous uh, request. So I am taking that particular token and clicking on send. So this will give me the robots that I have in my machine. So it shows bad request. So where exactly we have gone wrong? Let's check it out, okay? It shows invalid URL. So did we miss something? Okay, um, let me just see if I have missed anything. Okay, so it is perfect. So might be I was having a, you know, a kind of enter or something which is a, a wrong URL that it was sh uh, showing. So 200 is a success key, just uh, the same URL that I have used, uh, maybe the spaces or something were there earlier. So what all, what all we have given, we have given the URL, we have provided the unit ID, which is the uh, ID that is corresponding to a particular folder from where we wanted to get the robot. So what is the thing that we have to observe in the output? Now that's the main thing. So the robot, whatever the uh, you are request that we have sent to the um, orchestrator. So we have uh, got these particular things, which is machine name, right? So this is the perfect machine name that we've given machine ID and then what is the mm, name that I have given? Machine Classic. What is the name of this? Is the robot name, right? Machine Classic is the robot name. I should have named it as Classic Robot, maybe. Okay, so Machine Classic is the robot name and the username. And then we have got a user ID, which I will be using further in the next steps. So, um, and also this ID, right? So this is perfect. And if you see, this is connected to classic environment. So um, how we can know that this is connected to classic environment? Yes, here, right? So everything is in place and everything is as expected. So in, we have got uh, the robots that are associated in the classic folder by using this orchestrator API endpoint. So I think this is clear for you. So going forward, we will see how we can start the job by using this particular robot, uh, which is associated with the processes that are there in the folder and also connected to that particular environment. So till now, what all we have seen, let's go to the uh, here. So we have seen first thing, uh, how to get all the folders and the IDs, right? And then with respect to that particular ID, we have seen how to get the environments that are present in that particular folder. And after that, what are all the processes that are available in that particular folder? For that also, we have used the ID of that particular uh, folder. And later, we have got all the robots that are there in that particular folder, right? Uh, so this is, uh, this is the progression that we have made. And next step is starting the jobs that are there in the classic folder with respect to the robot environment and the processes information that we have got till now. So that it will be end of uh, everything about classic folder using orchestrator API calls via Postman. So if you, I think this is pretty much about um, classic folder and later we will see queues, sets and that's a different whole different concept. So uh, 
if you have gained enough knowledge please do let me know in the comment section and if you wanted to try it out and facing any issues please do let me know and i will try to uh, you know help you out with the solutions and also if you like the video useful and if you feel it useful and worthful do hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching